It appears that Taylor Sheridan's upcoming television project, which he has long desired to replace Yellowstone, will provide a unique take on Kevin Costner's John Dutton. The second installment of Yellowstone Season 5 will mark the conclusion of Sheridan's most watched television series, and many have questioned if he could repeat its success. However, replacing Yellowstone is no small task, particularly in light of the Sheridan-verse of television programs that sprang from it and the dynasty of spin-off series it inspired. Even though Taylor Sheridan already has a number of films and television shows coming out, his most recent project may be the greatest. Taylor Sheridan's upcoming TV series, Landman, appears to have the potential to be one of his greatest ever. Landman's stellar cast, which includes Demi Moore, John Hamm, and Billy Bob Thornton, is already carrying on one of Sheridan's greatest trends. Additionally, it will premiere only one week after Yellowstone Season 5, Part 2 kicks up, which could help it draw in some of the show's ardent fans. But one of Landman's more intriguing elements, Kevin Costner's John Dutton, puts a fascinating spin on a traditional Taylor Sheridan character in Yellowstone. One important distinctive feature separates Kevin Costner's John Dutton in Yellowstone from Billy Bob Thornton's Landman character. Sheridan has chosen Billy Bob Thornton to play the title character in his upcoming series, Landman. Tommy Norris, an oil business crisis manager assigned to fix any issues that arise, is the character that Thornton is slated to portray. In an interview with Vanity Fair, Thornton characterized Norris, and he already sounded a lot like John Dutton. Both of them are guys who have to deal with the various issues that arise from managing a company, including those involving employees, legislators, and lawyers. I work as a foreman and a fixer. I collaborate closely not just with the head person but also with the field workers. I deal with the landowners, check the wells daily, gather the necessary information, and handle any problems that arise. If there is an accident on the rig, I have to handle the legal issues as well. In the same interview, Thornton disclosed that there's one big distinction between Kevin Costner's role and his own. Norris isn't wealthy. While Dutton and Norris both have excellent work ethics, a strong desire to see their companies flourish, and the capacity to solve any issue that arises, Norris is blind to the results of his labors. Taylor Sheridan, according to Thornton, brought to light a crucial aspect of Norris's personality when he reports to his boss's opulent mansion, thinking, I could have had this, but it went a different direction. A significant departure from John Dutton's portrayal sets Landman apart from Yellowstone and most of Sheridan's earlier works. Signature traits are shared by the majority of Taylor Sheridan protagonists. Film and television credits include Wind River and Lawman, Bass Reeves, for which Taylor Sheridan has penned numerous storylines. Although Sheridan's plays and films are very different from one another, their heroes frequently share a few traits. Although many of them follow dubious moral standards, they are also incredibly intelligent, devoted, hardworking, and determined. These characteristics frequently place Sheridan's heroes in wealthy and powerful positions. The largest ranch in Montana is owned by the Dutton family in Yellowstone and its spin-offs. Tulsa King centers on crime Lord Dwight Manfredi, and in Special Ops, Lioness perceived Joe as the head of a CIA program. It should be mentioned that not every one of Sheridan's heroes is strong or well-off. For instance, Wind River concentrated on a junior FBI agent and a fish and wildlife officer, while before to their bank robberies, the Howard Brothers of Hell or High Water were living in severe debt. They shared many of Sheridan's major characters' traits and values, even though they didn't mesh well with his preference for strong protagonists. They look comparable to Landman's Tommy Norris, who works hard, is capable, intelligent, and capable, but he doesn't have nearly as much to show for it. How the premise of Yellowstone is reflected in Landman's story. Yellowstone and Landman share more parallels than just Tommy Norris and John Dutton. At least in the early seasons, Landman's concept already seems a lot like Yellowstone's. Both of them center on their respective lead personalities defending a large company and all the issues that entail. In addition to internal dangers like Jamie Dutton, John had to contend with exterior threats from Thomas Rainwater, the Beck brothers, and others. Norris will probably face a similar array of challenges, including external threats from environmentalists and lawyers, as well as internal ones from company officials and accidents. 
Landman seems to be giving Thornton's Tommy Norris the same number of nerve-wracking issues to handle at the same time, which may lead to some very exciting TV. Furthermore, it appears that Landman will replicate one of Yellowstone's most captivating features, the Dutton's constant juggling of numerous issues at once, which significantly increased the stakes, is one of the main reasons Yellowstone is so captivating. The Dutton dynasty would have fallen apart if just one of the ranch's problems had been resolved on its own. But dealing with them all at once was daunting, and left viewers wondering how things could ever turn out for the better. Landman seems to be giving Thornton's Tommy Norris the same number of nerve-wracking issues to handle at the same time, which may lead to some very exciting TV. The main reason Landman might take the place of Sheridan's flagship series is probably another resemblance to Yellowstone. Yellowstone possesses a special ability to launch new ventures and spin-offs. For Sheridan, it has proven crucial to Yellowstone's success, and Landman could be the only initiative that can replicate it. Tommy Norris will have to juggle a plethora of conflicting interests, from the law to profit margins, and any one of them could serve as the basis for a spin-off. Landman has a great deal of potential to spawn new stories. It's not difficult to picture Landman having as many spin-offs in the future as Yellowstone has.